Hey guys, how to make a battlegrounds combat system. Part 2. Make sure to watch the part 1 before watching this. So we need to reset the combo. If the player doesn't perform another punch after 1 second, let's do it. First we need to create a table. That will hold the time of our last punch. Then we gonna do some checks and change combo function. All right, let's test it. An error. Let's fix it real quick. Done. Let's try again. Works. Let's change the speed of the player while attacking. Let's see. As you can see we are a little bit slower while attacking. Now we gonna make the stun system. First we won't let the player punch while it's stunned. Now get the stun handler to point one from your toolbox and put it into the modules folder. Now we gonna create a module script for damage, stun, etc. Name it to whatever you want, I'm gonna name it to hit service. Here we gonna create a method. We are done with the module script for now. Now we have to require it in the combat server script. Now replace this part of the script.
Now when we hit the enemy it should get stunned. And knock back a little bit. Ops, its humanoid root part is anchored, let's unaccord it. Maybe we should reduce the knockback, and apply a little knockback to our character as well. Well, the enemy's knockback reduced but we didn't got ours. Let's fix it. It works. Alright. Now we want to make the last punch deal more knockback and also ragdoll. Alright, we made the more knockback part. Time for the ragdoll part. First you need to get the R6 ragdoll plug and play ragdoll module. Then just take the module script and the ragdoll parts and put them into modules folder. Also don't forget to make a folder for them. You can just delete the rest. Also another important part. Open the module script and delete this code. Then we need to modify a few more things. Now go to the hit service and require the ragdoll module script. Alright, now we gonna ragdoll the player. Alright, now we gonna change the dummy humanoid properties a little bit. Now we need to make the last punch ragdoll the enemy.
let's see. The dummy didn't ragdoll. That's because we didn't set up the ragdoll on the dummy. We gotta make a script that sets up the ragdoll on dummy. First we need to add a true boolean attribute. Called npc to every dummy. Back to the script. That's it for the script. Let's test it. Nice, now the dummy is ragdoll. But we still need to fix a problem. That we can hit the dummy while it's ragdoll. We'll fix this problem like this. Now we are not able to hit the dummy while it's ragdoll. But we can still hit it when it's dead. Let's fix it. Now it should work. Part 3 coming soon.